So I just thought I'd give just another update on where I am with Arthur. <sighs> I'm just feeling a little bit deflated, if I'm honest. Um, in terms of uh, hacking him out and things like that, he seems um, great. He is really calm. He's not half as spooky as what he would usually be. Uh, so in that respect, he's great. But we really haven't uh, cracked it with um, the kiss and spines diagnosis. There is definitely something else causing him problems. Whether it's the stifles, whether it's the hind fetlock, whether it's the PSSN2, it's something. Um, I've just ridden him just the second and he just felt like the old Arthur. Just less spooky. Um, I have actually noticed that he is probably dragging his hind hooves worse than ever. Um, it was just an intermittent thing, whereas it's really bad at the minute. Um, I'm convinced this is his stifles, if I'm honest. Um, so anyway, I did have him booked in for uh, the kiss and spine surgery, but... I had a long talk with my husband last night um, and we've actually decided to just go for a bone scan uh, just to see um, how in f just to see just um, to get the full round picture I guess um, Arthur's had quite a lot of x-rays anyway so I don't think we'll need to do any of that hi sweetheart um, but yeah we, we've definitely not cracked it um, it's just a case of waiting for, hi sweetie pie, just a case of waiting for the 2nd of November I guess, um, and then see what it is, but I'm just going to carry on hacking them out as I have been doing, um, because that's, it's important that they're in work, um, for it to be more effective, uh, so we'll just see how it goes from there I guess. I've not actually been doing a significant amount with him. I've just been doing um, a bit of hacking here and there, really, and just I'll lunge him in the arena. I've barely really ridden him in the arena, if I'm honest. Um, but it's nice to get on his back and not feel like he's going to explode underneath me. But yeah, we definitely haven't cracked it. I'm feeling so deflated with life at the moment. I'm just at a point where I feel like giving up retire him at nine year old or something and then just not think about it um but no i'm just gonna see uh yeah i'm just gonna see what happens with the bone scan and go from there i'll probably try and um manage the pain next month uh, next year so it'll be all about pain management and see how he responds to that. And if he responds positively, um, then I'll probably opt for the kiss and spine surgery. So the bone shave surgery and then just manage the joints that I need to manage um, if I need to. Uh, but that's the plan anyway. Um, so, yeah, just feeling very, very deflated. But in terms of his spookiness, like I said, his back was obviously causing him a lot of pain. Um, but I'm just trying, it could be the PSSM too, that's like for his lethargy and things like that. I've got no idea. I just, this is just totally above and beyond my knowledge, but I just feel like I'm relying on myself all the time. But well, I'll get there. I'll get there. Thanks. Bye.